Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Drag Strip figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to then have a look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to see how he compares with his original Generation 1 self figure and of course we'll do some other comparisons with some other drag strip figures that have also been released down the Generations toy line. Right, a couple of things before we get started. One, I need to thank Robot Recruits because that's where I purchased this from. Well, I pre-ordered it from them ages ago and it came in stock in the UK finally. And as you can see, they got him to me lovely and safely. The other thing I want to do is have a quick look at these boxes. Now, yes, it's windowless and yes, it's a pain. But um, for me, ironically enough, it's it's not too bad because what it means is I can flat pack the boxes so I can store them away much, much easier we've got some amazing amazing artwork here on the side there of course is i suppose it's a little bit more than his head sculpt it's more like a bust of him and it looks brilliant whereas we've got the full body there you can see that the box is not perfectly square it's got this little edge to it then people who haven't seen these yet it's the same boxes as what they used for the shattered glass hasbro exclusives um last year we can see inside that he's pretty much yeah he's, he's pretty well tied into there ironically enough they are still using plastic uh, toy wraps we've got the legacy artwork there which we now know to be obviously all these figures that we're expecting and then on the back we can see that it's going to take 17 steps to transform and as we know he is one figure out of five that makes up Menasaur. Now I'm not going to do it right now but you can of course scan this QR code and it'll give you information like tech specs and stats and a bit of a write-up on him. Right I think that's all there is to say about the box let's see how I can open this. Now I think I'm going to open it from the bottom because it should come out nice and easy off this. Now, again, this is going to be total first impressions. In all honesty, I've seen pictures of this guy. I saw, obviously, the reveals of him, but I've not yet seen any reviews. So I'm really excited to see this. I think this toy line is going to be brilliant. Um, I was a fan of the Thrilling 30 toy line. Um, I know not a lot, a lot of people were, but I think with this one, they're going to really... And it looks like they are definitely going to nail it with all these figures. Right, as you can see, there he is. There's a little bit of space at the bottom. Again, means you can flat pack the cardboard. We've got the new colour scheme they're using for Legacy in the instructions. We've got a little bit of safety that I'm going to throw away. And what I'm going to do now then is I'm just going to set him free from there and come right back to you. Okay, guys, we're going to do some first impressions now. So this is the first time I've seen one of these in hand and already, already I'm impressed. Um, I'm loving the head sculpts. The detail on it is brilliant. The use of the silver paint apps there looks fantastic. And on his chin, it will, of course, to bin all the way around. We've got articulation up, down, round the side and the shoulder. We've got bicep or elbow flexion. We've got a waist swivel, hips, side, front, back, knee bend, ankle rock, as you'd expect, all of the things, all articulation points that you would expect in a new figure i think it looks great that looks brilliant as well um we'll have a proper look at that obviously when we get him in his alternate mode just yeah just really impressed with him lovely color scheme as well and one other thing that i've noticed and again we'll look in a bit more detail uh when we come to the actual mode is the guns the color are a brilliant homage to g1 there's so many homages here to g1 it's fantastic and i love the fact that they combine the main reason why i love the fact they can combine is because if we have a look first and foremost at the g1 in robot mode you see what i mean even quite a similar color scheme with the purple but when they was in the alternate mode, they had like a dual blaster. So, of course, because you can combine them, because you've got two, you can pretty much replicate that. So the homages are fantastic. He looks great. Um, not much more to say about that. I think you can tell I'm impressed. Let's have a quick look at him in his alternate mode. Then. All right, then we can now see him in his alternate mode and it's looking really, really good. Quick apologies for no transformation process in this video. It will be uploaded separately, so not to spoil it for yourselves. It is quite a slick and very satisfying transformation process. Uh, so I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you don't want to see it. And of course, it'll keep the length of the video down. Um, it does look good. It's really quite long, actually. It's, it's really surprised me how long it is. The alternate mode is, of course, it's based on his Tyrell P34 six-wheeler race car. And yeah, it looks nice. Um, everything you can see sort of does still move around if you want it to. Maybe the fact that they've not bothered to colour in there is a little bit annoying, whereas they've coloured in that one. So perhaps they could have just continued it there. No problem whatsoever. Um, I'm liking it. In fact, I've found the one part on it that's not in the instructions, but that's because we now know as well what this behind here is. It's a little button. And if you press this in like so, what it enables you to do 
you can see there we can separate the car into two and we know it does this now because we've seen obviously pictures of um, Menasaur with this guy as his arm so they are definitely going for the um, cartoon accuracy and this guy obviously is not going to be able to doesn't look like it anyway follow the same sort of lines that with the combiner wars figures did the fact that you could mix and match them and do the scramble city but you can see where that's attached in there we're going to attach this back it clips over again nicely and let's do a quick comparison with his g1 original so i'm going to take this off the back like so you can see how much bigger it is it's huge i mean a lot of the g1s were quite small anyway but this guy is way way bigger um and this was all about the homage so you've got the twin blaster from g1 which goes there and then you've got your twin blasters because they are completely separate and you can put one in each side like this there you go. I <laughs> love it. Love it. So simple. So brilliant. It's great. Or you could also, I suppose if you wanted, you can combine these two. Yep, there's little tabs there either side. Um, I think that's going to be Legacy's gimmick anyway to start combining all the weapons. You could put the one there. And then, of course, when you get more weapons, Battle Masters, Fossilizers, etc., you can attach them in there as well, to be honest. So loads loads to look forward to and loads going on with these figures right then what we're going to do now we're going to come back for the final time in this robot mode and we're going to do some more comparisons and just finish it off okay guys here we go back for the final time in the robot mode and that is because this is the way that i'm going to choose to display him that is until at least the rest of the stunt cons come out and i can display him in his combined form if you're wondering about scale this is Siege Sideswipe, of course, he's been used lots of times, that particular mould, and you can see that he scales really, really well with him. Um, the rest of, of course, the Legacy Deluxe I've not opened yet, so, and I presume, as you can see with the scale, they are all looking the same. With regards to the weapons, again, the way I combined it, which you saw, was just with these slots out there, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put one in each hand, because, yeah, I think that's how he's going to display better. So if we have a proper look at him now, he's in this particular mode. Again, loving the silver inside there. If you wanted to, you can sort of adjust these. It doesn't look anywhere near as good, obviously. So if you just turn these completely out of the way um, at the back. I know some people don't really like holes and stuff. Um, there's, I suppose, a little bit of a gap there, but it's quite hard to see. And maybe unless you're turning his legs out, otherwise you wouldn't really notice that there that again is obviously for transformation purposes when you're condensing or sorry concertinaing in the legs um yeah again looks good let's have some more comparisons then so there's his original generation one self um the only real difference obviously you can see is the fact that you've got these shoulder pylons up there um i've got a combiner wars one but funnily enough the loose one is combined so here's one that's boxed he's just a fraction smaller than him this guy looks a bit bigger but of course he's raised a little bit off so he's just a teeny bit teeny bit smaller than him but in honesty i mean yeah definitely this guy's in a completely different league to the combiner wars ones already so can't wait to see what they do with the rest of these and especially with the fact obviously that we are getting menacer we've seen pictures can't wait to see what they look like and feel like in hand but anyway guys i'm sure you can tell that i'm impressed by this figure um let me know what you guys think if you're going to be getting him as well hope you enjoyed this particular video and please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe